By the time she was two, though, the seizures had become constant and started to take their toll on their once happy, joyful little girl. She started to really decline cognitively, and she was slipping away, and she just wasn't keeping up with her twin. The Figgies finally found an answer. It was awful news. Dravet syndrome. It is severe, intractable epilepsy. The seizures start during the first year of life and are unstoppable, difficult to control, and very damaging. For the next two years, the Figgies tried everything. Strange diets, acupuncture, and dozens of powerful drugs like Valium, Ativan, Enobarbital. But nothing seemed to help. When things were at their worst, she just sees all night. And the kids are sleeping either in my room or next door. They can hear her, the seizure scream all night, 50 times a night. And Chase would come in in the morning and just, this is her twin, <laughs> and just hug her and like rub her head and say, I'm, I'm just so glad you survived through the night last night. Matt had been deployed to Afghanistan. And the only thing he could do to help was start scouring the internet. And he stumbled onto this video of a child using marijuana. I'm like, wow, he's having success on specifically Dravet. This is interesting. It's natural. I was like, we need to do this. And I said, I don't know. And then Charlotte's condition got worse. 300 seizures a week, almost two every hour. She was not talking or moving, basically catatonic. As a last resort, doctors wanted to either prescribe a powerful veterinary drug used on epileptic dogs or put Charlotte in a medically induced coma so her brain and body could rest. Page search for marijuana high in CBD. That's the ingredient some scientists think helps seizures and also low in THC. She found a small amount at a Denver dispensary. I measured it with a syringe and squirted it under her tongue. Holding Charlotte in her arms, Paige waited. An hour ticked by and then another and then another. She didn't have a seizure that day. And then she didn't have a seizure that night. And then she didn't have one the next day. And then the next day. And I thought that is, she would have had 100 by now. It had worked. More than 41 children are using Charlotte's Web here in Colorado. And there are dozens more on a wait list, hoping, praying that a plant could change their lives, just like it did for Charlotte.